I would say that it really differs because you are able to do a lot of things with the software um, on the board. You are able to really have students come up here with the with your personal laptop. It's a little more difficult for students to gather around and share ideas on the side of the laptop. Especially when you have a class of maybe 20 people, everybody kind of gossips. Not only does it give students a really big forum to share ideas and to share their um, ideas about learning, it is also a way that students can, with the learn response system, it's really a complete active classroom. I think it, um, and it really allows you to get students engaged where a wireless mouse would not. Yes? What, what prompted your interest in teaching? Maybe I need to uh, read a little more about you. Well, I started uh, writing when I was four years old, and I really loved writing. And when I was six, I started typing out my stories, and I thought, well, I, I'm kind of skilled at writing, and I really love writing and reading, reading and writing. And I noticed that other kids didn't so much. Honestly, until I was like five or six, I thought that everybody loved reading. To me, reading was like the equivalent of what some kids sing with candy or video games, which I also hold in high esteem, but um, <laughs> <laughs> not so much as reading and writing. And so I was really shocked by this. And I thought, well, what can I do to get kids interested in reading and writing? And the obvious answer was going and presenting at my writing workshops to my local school. So I started with these workshops, and I wanted to really expand, because I was getting invited to TV and also to giving speeches and traveling really around the world, and I thought, well, can I teach schools around the world? So I started um, doing school visits, and at the same time, I started using distance learning. Um, Tamburg also. I'm just, um, I really like being in relationships with companies because <laughs> I, I have a video conferencing unit, I have an active board, <laughs> and yeah, they, pretty much our entire studio is built up on stuff that I work with companies and that I get so, um, that, and I started using distance learning, and that was a really effective way. Now I reach um, hundreds of schools really every year through my video conferences, and so that is how I got started really with teaching on, on a larger scale. Yes? What do you aspire to be as an adult? Do you think you'll still be teaching, or do you think you will be writing, or what would you like to do? I'd like to continue everything, writing, teaching, and I would also like to, uh, I'm really interested in, in being a journalist. The news is always something I've been very interested in. I watch like three news chicks per day. Uh, and that's not including my computer, too. So it's a little bit obsessive. But <laughs> I, I like to keep following what's going on. OK, any other questions? And do we have any at Kenosha? Some questions? There we go. Hi, Dora. It's Mary again. Yep. I would just like to thank you again for the experience that we had with your speech here in Kenosha last week. Um, First of all, I would just like to say you certainly are an inspiration to me, my peers within the district, and my family. You touched my family. My daughter Dana, who is 20, was so impressed with your vocabulary, and she said, you know, Mom, reading does make a difference with the knowledge that a person can share with others and also how they speak. She was so impressed with your vocabulary that I've seen my children pick up books, and I want to thank you for that. Oh, thank you really so much. much. I really had a great experience with you, and, and Dana was really so kind, and especially I know that driving this around can get really quite burning at times, and so I really enjoyed talking with her, and I'm really glad that I had um, an impact in your family and, and, and in Nosha, and um, I was just so honored to be able to present there and I really enjoyed the experience and thank you so much for for the um, uh, uh, Italian cookies by the way. <laughs> um, yeah everyone actually um, Mary has been really really kind. When we were at this Italian deli she got me a bag full of Italian cookies and I mean that was just like delicious. <laughs> oh, we so thank you so much for that. Genetic. Yes, genetic, yes. And, and for the book on promotions, yeah. right? Come back anytime. Oh, yeah. But truly, um, so, many, so many teachers were really touched by what you had to say and share with them and through a child's eyes, so thank you. Oh, thank you. I really enjoyed the experience, and it was really amazing. Uh, and I think that definitely the highlight of the trip 
was um, not so much a transformation, but just the people I have met like you along the way. Thank you. Okay. Any last questions? Or we try a lot. Okay, great. Uh, because we need to get out of here. Uh, <laughs> so, rise, everybody. Collect your belongings. I am not liable for anything that you behind here. I am not.